Israel HVAC is sponsored by Yellow Jacket, one of the most reliable names in all of HVAC tools, including the new Titan Digital Manifold, the new Omni Digital Vacuum Gauge, the reliable Bullet Two Stage 7 CFM Vacuum Pump, and the new YJ. LTE recovery machine. For more information, visit yellowjacket.com. Hey guys, we're about to pull up at a what he calls a camp. Now, some of these are worthy of being called a camp. But, like, you know, this right here, you know, that, that's a camp. It's nothing that, nothing special. But his particular place, uh, to me, is not a camp. But to him, it is. Anyways, beautiful out here, guys. It's All this is on the water. Well, these aren't, but the one we're going to is. It's on the water. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. What we're going to do is, I came out here over the weekend. He's got a carrier system. It's two stage, variable, a two stage outdoor unit with a variable speed. Sorry, guys, a phone call came in and cut the camera off, but here it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. These are what some of these people call camps. Ours is right up here, right around the corner. Anyway, it's a two-stage carrier system, two-stage outdoor unit, variable speed blower. I came out Saturday. Uh, I have my 240 going to the motor at all times, just like you're supposed to. And I have 24 volts coming to the board, but I did not have my motor tester with me. So I was not able to narrow it down to which one it was. But I have my tester with me today, and I brought a board and a motor. This is our house right here the yellow one with the bluish door look at that very very nice places so and there's the water again it's beautiful out here all right we're gonna go in here and uh get in the attic and see if which one it is all right guys there's our carrier air handler a foam house but it's still hot as hell up here i've got my motor tester plugged in grabbing red and common okay it's on and the motor's not coming on which means we have a bad blower motor. All right, I'm gonna get this thing out of here. <clears throat> All right, guys, I'm sorry I have not gotten better film, but even though it's foam, it is still hot as hell up here. The new motor and everything is in. I've got my tester hooked back up again. I got You can see that the tester's lit up. We have 24 volts. The power's on. When we hit this toggle switch, the blower motor should run. There it is. All right, that's good enough for me. Okay, just in case any of you were wondering how this motor tester works. This is the 16 pin plug coming from the board. I have it unhooked. And that's what the motor tester is replacing. Right here where I have my hand. 
I'm gonna have to take the, okay, and the one I'm taking off right now, that's the high voltage. You have to leave that hooked up to use the motor tester because this motor has 208, 230 going to it at all times. And then we're gonna unhook the motor tester here. And there's the motor tester with the 16 pin plug. And you can just see it's got a bunch of jumper wires. See all the jumpers? It's got a bunch of black jumpers and it just jumps out the whole, you know, every section of the motor, every speed. And that's why when you hit this toggle switch, it just throws the blower on. So it's a very neat and inexpensive tool. Again, it's made by Gentech. Tech Inspect. Very inexpensive tool, very easy to diagnose. So now, we're gonna take the 16 pin from the board and hook it back up to the blower motor. Just like that. Okay, it clicked. Then we're gonna take our high voltage plug and put it back on. Just like that. And she's back together. All right guys, there's the condensing unit. Sit way up in the air. Nice camp. Beautiful view. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, you can see the water back there. I'm going to get out of here. All right, guys. Well, we got that one back up and running. I'm sorry I didn't get better film, but like I said, that was a foam house and foam attic, and, I was, and I'm still soaking wet. Thank God it was foam. If it wouldn't have been, I probably wouldn't have filmed at all. But... Anyway, that was something a little different instead of a capacitor or a cleaning or something like that. So I thought I'd get some footage on it. But they're happy to have their air back on because they have clients coming in and he brings his clients to the camp. So he's happy to have his air back on and I'm happy to give it back to him. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.